I know many of you have heard this story already, but the truth is this story is evolving, it's changing, and it's quite a remarkable, it's quite a remarkable story. I just need to repeat that twice because yeah, this is insane. The world needs to be looking at what California is doing because California went from kind of mediocre to pretty much world leading within the space of a few months. This is just mind blowing stuff. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Deeper, longer, and cleaner, says reneweconomy.com.au. Big batteries have extended the domination of California's evening demand peaks. This is quite, quite insane because this is just the tip of the iceberg, guys. We are on the precipice here with renewable energy just completely taking over. And essentially what happened here in Adelaide in Western, in Southern Australia it's happening in California, but in some ways in an even smarter way. Big batteries in California are the biggest source of energy supply in California's evening demand peaks. Now that's when electricity is by far the most expensive. It's when fossil fuels have to be used, the sun is going down, and that is being eliminated. Guys, you're looking at only a few years before fossil fuels will be pretty well dead in California. This is happening for three or more hours as a dramatic energy transition in one of the world's largest grids is continuing. And a lot of people are shocked by this. A lot of people who are pro-nuclear, pro-fossil fuels, they're kind of trying to pretend that this doesn't exist. Trying to, they're trying to like ignore all of this, but you can't ignore it. It's, it's incredible. The emergence of big batteries as the dominant player in the evening demand peaks in California, one of the biggest grids in the world, the falling influence of gas and the growing share of bulk power from wind, solar, and water have been the significant developments in the world's fifth biggest economy this year, says reneweconomy.com.au. I'll put a link, by the way, to their website in the description. Now, they said that on, in, on Thursday in California, battery storage was the biggest source of supply in the state's grid at around 7.05 p.m., around about that time. It is done, and it's done the same thing on many evenings over the past month. Very, very unusual here, guys. It's kind of like a future utopia where all the solar is being wasted during the middle of the day. Guys, you know, electricity is so cheap in the middle of the day, sometimes free, um, sometimes even um, in certain places around the world during the, those peak times during the middle of the day when the sun is just producing too much energy for the grid. Um, you, you'll find negative electricity prices. It's actually commonly happening now, even in European countries as well. Well, all that extra energy just not is just being wasted in a lot of countries, but not in California. It's being stored by these big batteries, which by the way, more of those are being built right now. And then of course, it's being used as the number one source of electricity between 6 to 9 p.m. in California's peak, peak time. You've got what? 40 million people in California. Most of them are returning home during that period of time, turning on their air conditioners. So normally what happens is that battery supply tapers off. However, that is beginning to change. Recently, battery storage remained the number one supplier of energy in California's evening peak for more than three hours until after 10 p.m., reflecting the fact that California, unlike many other state grids, such as South Australia here in Australia, has more four-hour batteries already built. And those batteries have completely changed California's grid. Gas, the previous king of the evening peak, which is obviously expensive, did not rise in the way it used to. Now, usually, right, gas is a dominant source of energy during that period of time in California's grid, but it's not anymore. The use of gas has halved over the past month in California, halved, come down more by more than, I believe about 51%. So, you guys are moving away from all kinds of fossil fuels, not just coal, it's also gas. Battery storage has helped flatten the so-called solar duck in the middle of the day as it soaks up excess solar to store the output for use in evening peaks. Battery output hit a new peak of 7.52 gigawatts in California last week, more than 1.4 gigawatts above the record when they started tumbling anew at the start of April and more than double its record peak output from a year ago. So more than double its record from a year ago. That's, that's insane. And what's more insane, guys, just imagine the future. I like to think of this stuff. I like to think of how is this going to continue to change? How is California going to, how are many of the world's grids going to continue 
to change. This is just the beginning. Imagine where we're going to be in five, 10 years from now. Um, fossil fuels in California will be uh, completely extinct. The other remarkable element of the California transition to the economy is the run of days when solar, wind, and water hydropower contribute more than 100% of state demand in that day for up to around 10 hours. According to Stanford University's Mark Jacobson, that run has now extended to 44 consecutive days and 68 of the last 73 days, with a share of wind, solar, and water reaching more than 160% of local demand on numerous occasions. You know what? California is a bit of a trendsetter in America. It's People don't like to hear this stuff. Um, and maybe it's fair enough to say you wouldn't want to live there. And I've heard that from a lot of people. But you know what? A lot of things that California does, they're 10, 20 years ahead of many other states in America. And even though those other states sometimes mock California, they almost always end up following them. Thanks for watching.